to inspect the barrel of the M1 rifle during maintenance, a barrel reflector is available. There are several variants made of either brass, parkerized steel, or plastic. The barrel reflector consists of a tube with mirror housing. For cleaning or repair, the barrel reflector can be disassembled. For the steel reflector, this is done by first removing the screw on the bottom side of the barrel reflector. The back plate can then be removed and the mirror taken out. Assembly is the reverse of disassembly. The plastic reflector is disassembled and assembled in a similar manner by removing the screw on the side and side plate. With the shorter barrel reflector, the bolt can simply be locked back and then the barrel reflector can be inserted into the chamber of the rifle. Do not use excessive force in doing this. With the longer barrel reflector, the rifle must be stripped down to at least the barrel and receiver group with the follower rod and operating rod spring removed. This removes spring tension from the follower and allows it to be moved out of the way. This disassembly is covered in the field strip training film. With the rifle stripped down to the receiver group, the barrel reflector can be inserted into the chamber of the rifle. Again, do not use excessive force in doing this. With the barrel reflector in the chamber, light can then be reflected off the mirror and down the barrel to inspect from the muzzle end. The barrel can also be inspected from the chamber end by looking into the barrel reflector and observing light from the muzzle. After inspection, the barrel reflector is removed and the rifle can be cleaned or repaired as needed, then reassembled. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting and helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, you can become a member on Patreon or YouTube or subscriber on Player. Links to these are in the description below. For more information on historical firearms, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.